I've been having such a hard time recovering from like, I don't know. I've just been feeling so like exhausted, but I'm starting to feel better actually. Um, yeah. And I, I was, oh my gosh, I had also like, um, I didn't tell you guys this, but I had a skin infection, like a small skin infection. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and it wasn't fun. It's another reason I definitely want to like eat healthier and lose weight. But anyways, um, I was on antibiotics for it. And I also did so much. Like I slept a lot, drank tons of water, took zinc and vitamin C, like 2000, whatever of vitamin C a day. Um, slept a lot, um, showered two to three times a day, just put like antibiotic cream, anything I could do to get rid of this infection. So it was wearing me down and I wasn't feeling well. So but now I'm feeling a lot better if the infection is gone and, you know, alhamdulillah, and I can finally, oh my gosh. Yeah, something, I'm pretty sure it was something like cellulitis, yeah. Which is like, I... Did they not tell you on your discharge papers? All right, continue, Chantel, for one more second never had something like that before and it wasn't fun it's so painful yeah hi louis uh yeah i'm kind of confused hi everybody it's ray it's life and vibe and uh did she know what the diagnosis was because cellulitis is pretty distinct and uh I don't know about applying an antibiotic cream to that. It could be painful. Um, I don't think zinc or magnesium are shown to be part of the treatment plan. Um, uh, actually, let's you want to take a look at the treatment plan? Okay, let's take a quick peek see um to the treatment plan over here. Okay, let me see. Let me make sure I can bring them up and make me small over here in the corner. Oh, here we go. Cellulitis is a common bacterial skin infection that causes redness, swelling, and pain in the affected area of the skin. If untreated, it can spread and cause serious health problems. Good wound care and hygiene are important for preventing cellulitis. Well, yeah, we know she was lacking the hygiene. <laughs> um, so it's a bacteria. Uh, there's different types, but primarily it's the A. streptococcus, streptococcus group. Um, that causes that, um, cause that's the most common, uh, people don't really know how you get it into the body. Um, they could have openings in the skin. Um, you can't catch it. It's not contagious. Often affects the feet and legs. That's the most common part. There are some people who are at risk, increased risk. Um, those are, Having obviously injuries, chronic skin conditions, chicken pox and shingles, and injection drug use. Oh, okay. Uh, um, they should be checked for fungal infections. Uh, being overweight is one of the reasons. Having limbs, hands, and arms that stay swollen, chronic edema, lymphedema. Uh, doctors typically diagnose. Um, cellulitis by looking at the affected skin during a physical examination blood or other lab tests are usually not needed yeah it's pretty it's pretty aggravated cellulitis it's not difficult to uh, recognize um that you're going to need the antibiotics which she said she took she didn't say which type but she took some antibiotics it's oral or iv nothing here says about topical because if you look at a picture of cellulitis, which is looks like this redness here and with open lesions, you are not going to want to put a cream onto that. They were not antibiotic cream. No, no. They're steroid creams, girl. Not antibiotic. <laughs> not that I'm aware of. Okay. Um, there could be things for fungal or steroid, but... I don't know about an antibiotic that's a cream. I need to tech into that one. <laughs> um, complications of cellulitis are uncommon, but can include serious infections, bacteremia, which is a blood infection, superative arthritis, which is a bacterial infection in a joint, 
osteomyelitis, bone infection, and then endocarditis. That's a swelling of the inner lining of the chambers of the heart and heart valves. It can also call thrombophlebitis, which is swelling in the vein due to a blood clot. Did you get a blood clot on that flight? <laughs> you know, you got to wash your hands often and clean and care for wounds because it's a strep A. So when you, and it even shows you right here from the CDC how to clean and care for this wound, Chantel. Should be in hot tub, swim baths, and all sorts of stuff. Related diseases or all these skin disorders. So, and you already have an increased risk for the endocarditis because you haven't seen a dentist for 10 years. So, I don't know, girl. All right, let's just get a quick peek see what, as we as clinicians would think of cellulitis, you know. Um, treatment. Let's see if it matches what uh, Chantel said. For typical cases of non-purulent cellulitis, um, this is the IDSA recommends uh, antibiotic that's active against streptococci due to the difficult determining the causative pathogen. Um, for most of these, they usually pick one that will cover both uh, staph, staph A and group A strep. Hmm. Uh, all right. Oral antibiotics, including penicillin, cephalosporins, doxycycline, or do sorry, doxycycline and clindamycin. Um, infections persist and in intravenous IV antibiotics can be considered such as penicillin, uh, clindamycin. I don't see anything about putting a topical on girl. Uh, it's, it's five days case has not been improvement. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, in addition, elevation of the affected area, you know, she's of course always, already feeling great. <laughs> you know she's already good and yeah and if you are diabetic obviously there there is an increased risk uh for that so yeah uh anyway let's see how she continues to uh increase her risk for uh uh skin infections uh since she is you know just needing to eat at all times uh you know how it goes with Chantel. she just released this new one it's clickbaity we're going to speed her up a little bit. Um, actually, if I can. All right, maybe not. It's not letting me do that. Oh, here we go. All right, let's put her at 1.25. Oh, well, why are you giving me that thing all the time? I don't want that. Hold on, guys. <laughs> I, I keep hitting it, you see? Oh, no. Okay. Finally. Jeez. I'm sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> I lost my audience. Oh, hold on. Let me uh, do one thing before I even play the rest of Chantel's video. I almost forgot, guys. I almost forgot. I need to put out my disclaimers. <laughs> Let me put my disclaimers out real quick, real fast. All right. Here's my fair use, you know. Just want to make sure that Chantel can't get me for using her stuff. Disclaimer. Let me get my disclaimer out. Uh, videos for entertainment purposes only, obviously. I might be, you know, saying something about this quesadilla. We'll have to see. I haven't seen it yet. And then, obviously, it's Chantel, everyone. I don't know what she's going to start talking about. So, <laughs> it's a trigger warning. <laughs> okay, guys. Let me take this off. Let me get to the reaction here and uh, not take up any more time. It's a short one. Hello, booty booties. <laughs> oh. Excellent. We start out already with B-roll footage of wherever they're headed to in Kuwait. Excellent. Well, at least we didn't get a cameo. B-roll, girl. That's a lot of B-roll. So this is where Pigeon. I'm about to mup on huh? in this parking lot. What? Waiting for my husband. Where art thou? Where art thou, Salah? What is this? 
<laughs> this is like not the the best side of the. Is she in? Really? This is the content. Oh goodness! Keep going. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing a car mukbang um, because my husband is uh, ran up to see his second wife and he's a feeder, so he gave me food to do a mukbang. So yeah, yella. Hi guys, did oh, you know no. I do cameos, which are personalized videos? Uh, you can get. I thought we got away from so that. So if you want to wish someone a happy birthday, I thought we got away from the cameo. And I'm having a quesadilla. What? I know you're thinking that's a quesadilla. Oh, goodness. I know she's trying to clickbait about Salah and the second wife because she got nothing to clickbait about. But the fact you're just waiting for somebody and you need to take down a whole quesadilla in a car, which is just cheese and beans and, and, and then the flour tortilla, which is obviously not probably your best choice. I You just obviously have no kit. And obviously you're going to keep getting infections like cellulitis. Because if that's what it was, because you don't put topicals on it, girl. And there's, I didn't read anything about zinc and magnesium. So as always, you just some hocus pocus nonsense. Oh, keep going. That's what I thought too. Diabetes. Here we go. Type two. It's I'm actually Arabic style quesadilla, so they call it quesadilla. I'll tell you the story in a second. So, um, beauty bite and bismillah. Mm. See, cellulitis, as we found, like, if you're not washing your hands and having really good hand hygiene, you're more likely to spread these diseases. So the fact that she never has, like, a hand wipe, a hand sanitizer, and then she picks up her food literally with her hands, who knows where they've been in this time, and eats. And she wants to call that a beauty bite? I call that like a, a CDC, like health department warning bite. That's what I call that, girl. So, quesadilla is like a quesadilla. But the spices are like Arabic. <laughs> Arabic, as if they speak Arabic. They're like Middle Eastern. Mmm. So, bit of a story. I have the AC blaring. Summer's officially begun, guys. Why is she sitting on the call? We know Salah does not have a second wife because she would not be this, like, uncaring about it. You know, it's just to get her audience all in a fluster. Or even supposedly reaction channels, which we work out real soon that this is just another click paint from Chantel. But this, she'll eat this whole thing. It's just wild. Why are you needing? I can't with this person. Do they just go and pick this up? And now she's got a quesadilla and he's running in for something? Because oh. I think those are her apartments. I think. I have a diaper seat and I have a drink. Pepsi because it's all they had. <laughs> They didn't have a bottle of water. <laughs> you couldn't have gotten a glass of water. You really don't need to have Pepsi diet or otherwise. It's really just sometimes that much carbonation isn't necessarily always great either. And you're someone who hasn't seen the dentist in 10 years. It's just, ugh. If I have a choice, I'll go with like Kinza. But gross. Mm. Mm. <sighs> you know. This is a 40-year-old person. This is her content. I obviously, as a registered nurse, I wish I could seemingly seem more compassionate. But she has supposedly thwarted any actual real medical care for her issues. But she trauma dumps her audience quite regularly about it and uses EDs as uh, a way to um, get people to her content. And also to excuse her food addiction behaviors, uh, which is basically what we're seeing. 
She's under no treatment, really. It's all nonsense. I'm glad that her views are starting to decrease, actually. And the reaction channels. We're getting bored with you too, Chantel. We just really are. Oh, and then all the so, stuff on her mouth. Oh, God. Where's the napkin? The story with the Casadia is. When I first, first came to Kuwait, the law was living in Tamiya. Why do we have to have the feeder content with the food slop around your mouth? I, I hope a napkin is present. <laughs> I just don't know what else to say for this. This is so boring. And I'll speed it up. There was a restaurant near us that made these. And he was like, do you want to try a quesadilla? Have you ever had quesadilla? Let me guess what she talked about in her last video. Oh, it was late night cabbage soup. And I think before that was a tuna subway. If she's just making, I think she's trying to kill the channel off. Because this content, I mean, when everyone knows how many health issues that you have and that you don't really seem to be taking care of your weight management and you have type 2 diabetes that you just seem to think that you don't need to make any diet changes for. And then you gaslight your audience to say you're going to get onto all these health plans. And you show like an app putting your calories in. It's so performative because you're doing this now. What's this thing in the app? I want to see how many calories this is. How would you describe it? I mean, it just looks like nothing that you needed to eat. There's no, what's the nutritional value in this? Seriously, I mean, real nutritional value. Not the fact that this is filling your belly. <laughs> and I was like, no. Sounds really cool. <laughs> Sounds really exotic, like Middle Eastern, like, you know. Just... No, it's meat, cheese, and probably some type of sauce for the meat fried between two quesadillas. I don't understand what's, what's or, uh, fried between, sorry, two tortillas. Large flower ones, too. So, he orders it from the restaurant, goes to get it. And I'm like, oh, quesadilla. <laughs> He's like, quesadilla. <laughs> peppers, cheese, mayo, chicken, spices, some kind of red sauce. That's so good. Peppers, yeah. Honestly, it knocks Taco Bell right out of the park. So. Oh, great. <laughs> this is what we need. Food reviews from Foodie that uh, state that this place does it better than Taco Bell. Because that's like a culinary delight place to go and eat at. Girl, really? Taco Bell, that's your comparison? Have you never ate decent, real Mexican food? Probably not. <laughs> Just insulted an entire nation on their food. Yeah. Mm. All right, what else do you say? It's bored. All right. Yeah. So, so you're eating. I have to go to pet zone. Okay. Pet zone. Are you taking your cat there to be vaccinated? <laughs> I'm going to hold up of things. <laughs> Restock. Okay. Are we going to see any of this as a vlog? Or are you just going to eat and drink? Yeah, nobody cares. We're speeding you up. Okay. All right, what else? It's very humid today. It's not well, you got humid. your head. Like, it gets humid sometimes, but you know, desert it's more of a dry heat. But well, Chantal, you've got like three layers on, <laughs> and the things with the heads that it holds in heat. 
So, I mean, you lose a lot of your heat from the top of your head. And uh, obviously you're losing none. And then you already seem to run hot. And so, oh my gosh. And they're just blasting the air conditioning, ruining the environment. Nice job, Chantel. You're so you're such a concerned citizen for the globe and your carbon footprint and all those plane flights and everything else you do to haul around your big old self. I was so hungry. But I'm pretty much back to normal. Every normal? Does that mean as unlikable as ever? Everything is healed. My sleep pattern is, I woke up this morning, so it's pretty much getting there fixed. <laughs> you have uncontrolled, unmanaged type 2 diabetes. You eat more rice than an Asian family probably eats in an entire week in Japan. Oh, I hope that wasn't culturally insensitive, but I'm just trying to think of cultures where they eat a lot of rice. <gasps> Japan. China, any of these places, you eat more than probably some of their families put together on a, on a you know, Sunday get together. Oh. And you're sitting here eating a quesadilla, just fours. It's probably not lunch, it's just a snack. Because the husband's having you just like blow off the gas and kill the environment. You really are not very fun, are you? <laughs> um, no jet lag. No one cares. Mental health is good. What are you talking about? You are sitting here doing the thing that you say is a, supposedly a problem for you. You just, this is the most gas lighty lion <laughs> verbiage coming out of this person's mouth. I just, I, while well, she's eating a quesadilla. Okay. Yeah. You just fixed everything. Yeah, okay, because that's why you've done, like, the most boring content in the world. That's about it. Very sunny day. Wait till your YouTube channel stops making any money, Chantel. Then we'll see if the husband sticks around. Because you better start making money because your content dull. And we don't really want to react to it anymore. We're all looking for, you know, more interesting people. Because watching somebody just, you know, lie about their health continuously. Because, oh, your schematica, your liatica, what, what we all call it, is uh, back, creeps back every once in a blue moon. You're just full of nonsense i know you got health complications but the real things that calls on are are not the things that are you know gonna actually be openly discussed by you the fact you haven't been to a dentist in 10 years is juvenile and reckless okay. especially as a diabetic type two people day I just can't believe this person think, has the audacity to think that, that that people just want to watch this person eat like this. I think I'm hoping. I know there's people that, that, you know, it was supposed to make you feel like you had company, but she's no interesting company to hang out with. And uh, it's just, you know, she's sitting there with all this food on her face. She's 40 years old. It, she's just, you know, one day she's like begging for sympathy. The next day, oh, I'm doing great. It's just, it, it's none of it makes sense. You know, just who is this content for? Because I, you know, the health stuff, I barely believe sometimes because, or it's something and she's never full. So you can't think it's like cellulitis. What was it? They have to give you certain antibiotics if they think it's cellulitis and they think that it's come from Streptococcus A. It doesn't work like that, girl. Antibiotics. 
It was small. It was a studio, but it was cozy. And it reminds me of when I first came here. Chantel, you're a tax evader from Canada who's on a tourist visa in another country. And if they found out how many times you bought a top, they probably wouldn't be a fan of it or the, the trash you've put out on the internet. I'm sure I'm thinking that, Paul, the reason why you went back to Canada and everything got thrown out is because Salah uh, wasn't happy when you lost your channel. And it probably resulted into a disagreement between the two of you and then, you know, resulted in you uh, having to go back to Canada um, and, and make some money or get it sorted out. I know you talked about going to Canada before, but I don't know, girl. I'm sure he wasn't happy. Why is it good times there? <laughs> and the neighbor there. Really nice Egyptian lady with her Syrian husband. What is the calories all um, this? I would love to know what the carbs of two flour to tea is. Oh, I know Sansa Cook will break this down. I mean, this is, you know, just why? This is <laughs> certainly not going to promote skin healing. <laughs> she would always bring us stuff. She made us mahalo bigo. A nice Middle Eastern dessert. <sighs> Huge bowl of olives. <sighs> People say they hear me groan. Well, yeah, because all I hear her talk about is food. <laughs> She's no other conversation. And it's obviously causing her a lot of damage physically. And to say that it's not is, is not understanding, especially when you have somebody who's not seen a dentist in 10 years, who has actively been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. They should be seeing a dentist every four months, about or maybe even three. It's, it's more frequently because of the diabetes, type 2. Some roasted sweet potato and corn. Just like little things like that. So when I would give her her dishes back, I would fill it with something. So I gave her a mac juice one time. Has nobody noticed this person constantly complains about their health and she's just turned 40? I don't think I ever remember having anything at 40. I wish I was 40 now. <laughs> Very nice tradition. And um, actually they moved out also. And they invited us. For a barbecue, so we have to go sometime. When I, I only went there once to hang out. Me and Sula were there with her husband and her were there. I had to talk through translator. Well, I actually used Salah as a translator that time. Why don't you take some classes now and learn the language since you're so uh, immersed into the culture now? But I didn't know, like, it's kind of rude, like, if somebody offers you something and you say, no, no, it's okay. There's no way that Chantel said no to food. Not in a thousand years. And she kept offering, so I got, like, okay, I'll say yes, you know. But, man, she stuffed me when I went there. I had, like, a fresh, like, banana shake, um, grape leaves, like, just a whole bunch of food. I was like, wow, thank you. <laughs> I was so full from supper, but I wanted to be polite, you know? Girl, that was supper round two for you. The only part I believe this is that she ate a second supper because she had that recently that she was having a second supper. So for Chantel to be out here saying that she didn't have space for food, complete lies. They had shisha. 
just a nice vibe, you know. Anyway, I guess that's it. That was a fast little mukbang. At least it's not at home for today because we're going to be out for a while. So I don't know. And I wasn't, didn't think I'd be able to. Yeah, because capturing some man who may not want to be in your video walking past your window and sitting in an air-conditioned car killing the environment is just what everybody wants to see. Yeah. It's, I mean, I feel like I could be um, in the parking area of any apartment complex across the globe. Uh, except maybe England, because it looks a little sunny. I do a mukbang from home. Um, um, that's the, the quesadilla. <laughs> I want to say quesadilla. That's the quesadilla. Uh, very delicious. Middle Eastern style quesadilla. And it's one of the first things I had when I came here to Kuwait. Did you do this on purpose? Like, just leave the crumbs lying here on her black hijab? Is this on purpose for her feeders? And she got the food all stuck in these plaque filled teeth. Ugh. Gross. Can you imagine the breath? Insomnia. We like to come here sometimes, you know? So has uh, friends here, um, has business here. There's a really nice beaches here. Salmia Beach, Marina Beach is one of the nicer beaches in Kuwait. And uh, they have some good restaurants. So is there nowhere more interesting? You could have put yourself and sat down and ate that quesadilla other than a parking lot? Girl, this is not quality content, okay? It's it's bad. Restaurants, like if we don't have the quesadilla where we are now in Kuwait. Um but yeah that's the story a little little cute little story about when we when they first came here and it just brings back memories of that fond memories you know <laughs> so fond memories when he found some food for you that you liked oh <laughs> that's so cute yeah um but i do appreciate you guys being here and i hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world maybe comment where you're from in the world i'm curious to see <laughs> i always like that please don't and uh, we'll see you later. Let me know if you've had a quesadilla. <laughs> if you're from the Middle East, I don't know. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Uh, there's Chantel trying to... Oh, stop. I don't want to see you twice. <laughs> I can't do her twice. <laughs> Let me remove Chantel. All right, guys. That was her depressing eating a quesadilla in a parking lot in Kuwait. Um, I'm sure Salah was not going to see his second wife. <laughs> I'm sure that's just... Full out lies. All right, everybody. If you do like it, I know people say it's cheesy, but I don't care. Subscribe. It's a free way to help us creators get up there and get out the algorithm. Leave me a quesadilla in the comments. Leave me a quesadilla in the comments uh, for finishing out. All right, guys. We'll catch you later. Bye.